Hey guys, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this Victoria's Secrets inspired makeup look. Now, how many times has this happened to you ladies? You have a very important event to go to and like a week before your skin breaks out and goes completely crazy, you say to yourself these things, you know, maybe I shouldn't have had that greasy meal or I could have gotten a facial. Either way, it's not the end of the world and we are going to fix this. So let's get started. I'm starting off by cleansing my skin. I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser. This visibly reduces the appearance of pores and also fine lines. So what I'm going to do is apply this on the centermost part of my face and then rinse off. Since I get most of my acne on the sides of my cheeks and also on my jaw, I'm going to be concentrating this Clean and Clear Acne Control Cleanser on these parts, massaging it well. All you need to do is rinse off and pat dry. To nourish my skin, I'm going to be using my Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment and my Aven Compensating Cream. These products are going to replenish and hydrate my skin, preparing it for makeup. Once my moisturizers have settled into my skin, I'm going to move on to priming my face. Here I'm using Benefit's Professional Primer solely for filling in my pores. For the outer portion of my face, I'm going to be using the Makeup Store Skin Serum and I'm going to be applying that close to my jawline and down onto my neck also. My choice of foundation today is by Bobbi Brown and this is the Skin Foundation with an SPF of 15 in the shade Porcelain and I'm going to be applying it using my Sigma F60 foundation brush. This foundation by Bobbi Brown is modern and fresh. It's invisible and weightless in coverage and leaves the skin looking refined and clean. I firstly like to use a paddle brush to apply my foundation and spread it out. At this point you can either use your fingers or a buffing brush to further push the product into the skin. The Victoria's Secrets Angels always have this glowing bronze complexion and I'm kind of lacking in that department. But that's okay because I know how to fake it and I definitely know how to cheat it. And that's the beauty about makeup. To fake my glow, I'm going to be using Inox's Skin Perfecting 5-in-1 Bronzing BB Cream. This is a fantastic product to use on its own, underneath your foundation or in this case over your foundation because it has a beautiful glowing luminous finish that the Victoria's Secrets Angels seem to have. Now I apply it using a paddle brush and then buff it out using a Real Techniques buffing brush just to give it a more natural seamless finish. Moving on to the eyebrows, I technically don't need to fill in my eyebrows because they are so thick and hairy but I really like the way they look when I do fill them in because they do look much more refined and polished and well groomed so what I'm doing here is using my eyebrow eyelash grooming tool I guess you can call it and I'm using that to brush through my eyebrows, filling them in using my Sigma eyebrow palette and then going through my brows using my Gimme Brow um, Fiber Gel Brow Thing by Benefit Cosmetics and it's absolutely amazing. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be priming my eyelids and then setting the primer into place using my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation and this is just going to take away from that tackiness of the base. On to the eyeshadows, the palette that I'm going to be using is the Smoke Screen Palette by Sigma Beauty and the first colour that I'm going to be taking is Veiled and I'm going to be using a E40 brush to run this colour from lash line all the way to the brow bone. With a flat dense brush, take more of that Veiled eyeshadow colour and place this underneath your brow to give the brow bone a highlight. Also use this on the inner portion or inner corner of the eyes just to open this area up a little the bit. The next eyeshadow I'm using is Thunderhead and it's from the same palette. This colour is more of a matte medium brown with a slight warmth to it. So this is going to be the perfect transitional colour um, for the rest of my eyeshadows to kind of blend and work into. The next eyeshadow that I'm using is called Rave and this is going to be the perfect colour to balance out my top and lower lash line and this is just going to give my lower lash line some definition and also some smokiness. Now I've also extended a line out and I'm going to be blending some of the Rave eyeshadow colour into the outer corner of my eyes creating like a slight exotic V shape and blending it outwards. To intensify this eye look and to also give it some more definition I'm going to be using two eyeshadows and mixing them together. These two are Cinders and Almost Jet from my Sigma palette. Using a tapered blending brush from Sigma, I'm going to be using these eyeshadow colours to create this V and I'm starting from the end of my lash line, working it upwards and then bringing it into my crease, creating once again that V-like shape that accentuates and creates a V-line effect to the eyes 
and I'm just softening it using the same brush to create some smokiness and also some darkness to the eyes. And if things do get a little bit on the messy side, what you can do is keep your foundation brush at hand so you can sharpen up and clean up your eyeshadow look. Onto the eyeliner, I'm going to be using the darkest color from my Sigma palette to create my wing. Now, using an eyeshadow gives the eyes a more of a softer look, especially if you do want to create a strong flick or a strong line. If you are new to makeup and you struggle creating winged liners, then what you can do is use an eyeshadow because it is honestly the easiest thing that you can do. You can get a stiff angled brush to create a wing using your lower lash line as a guide and then kind of joining the dots together by using small strokes and dashes. Now like I said I do want to keep this makeup look and this eye look as soft as possible so I'm just going to soften the line further by using a small pencil brush and to define the inner parts of my eyes the remaining eyeshadow that I have I'm just going to run it and press it on the inner eye corners. Using a white eyeliner pencil by Napoleon Purtis I'm going to be placing this on the waterline so it can just open up and brighten my eyes a lot more. To add some shimmer to my eyelids I'm going to be using the Balms Overshadow Sex Pot in No Money Honey and I'm going to be spreading that out from the center of my lid all the way into the inner corner and then just blending it and softening it into my other eyeshadows. It's time for the lashes and I'm going to be using Inox's Ultimate Lash Mascara in black and this does a really good job at darkening the lashes and also making them look thick, long and fluffy. I'm also going to be adding four individual lashes on the outer corner of both my eyes. Moving on to concealing and correcting the skin, I'm going to be using this peach color concealer and using this under my eyes to counteract the darkness. Around my nose, because that's where I tend to get red, I'm going to be using my yellow concealer. For my contour shade, I'm going to be using the Makeup Store's Micro Shadow and Maasai, and this is the perfect color if you are on the fairer side. You cannot create a Victoria's Secrets look without using some sort of highlighter or illuminator. The one that I'm using is by Calvin Klein, and it is the perfect color to use on your cheekbones and also on your cupid's bow. On my lips, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the shade 500 and diffusing the color using my finger. For gloss, I'm using this Mary Kay Gloss in Cream and Sugar and it is a perfect gold lip gloss that you can finish off your lip look. For a flush of color on my cheeks, I'm using my Airbrush Blush by Element 2 and using my fingers to dab and apply the product on the apples of my cheeks going upwards. I'm going to be setting the foundation on my chin using a powder puff and some powder and that completes the Victoria's Secrets inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something. For a full list of products, don't forget to check out my blog and I'll have the direct link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching my video guys and I hope that you subscribe to my channel for more videos with me. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!